Okay, so in my comments, I got asked to try Ubuntu 20.04 with the Enlightenment desktop. Uh, from the comments, it says it's supposed to be more lightweight than XFCE and show RAM usage. So let's do that. If you want to install the Enlightenment desktop, put in sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade into any existing version of Ubuntu. Uh, and then you need to put in sudo apt install dash v enlightenment. And uh, that will install it. And so then you can pick on the initial boot screen, you can pick between Ubuntu, Ubuntu, Enlightenment, whichever ones you've installed. I've got another video which shows 10 desktop environments in one version of Ubuntu. So that will show you how to do all of that. It's really nice to see that Ubuntu 20.04 is available through Raspberry Pi Imager already. Uh, so it came on very quickly. So if you want to install this uh, Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, the latest version, then it's very, very simple to just click on and install. OK, so let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, now, I had in the question it said to monitor the memory usage. So let's call up terminal watch dash N53. So that's going to monitor the, the RAM every five seconds. So I really like the dock uh, and I like the way you can switch desktops. Uh, so this basically switches between the desktops and you can see that it has like a blue sort of light shining on the one that you're currently on. Uh, I made this a bit larger because it was really small. Um, and in fact, a lot of this is a bit too small for me. I, ju I just I think that the font is very small and I did have a look through but I haven't had enough of a look through to find out how to change it. Um, so there's things like about theme. I don't know if you can select theme. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here at the moment so I'd need to have a look at that. Um, but obviously I'm, I'm kind of going through this operating system as it comes through. Uh, but it's, uh, so it's supposed to be very lightweight. So less transparency effects and things like that. Uh, which is which is fine, uh, especially for the Pi. So if I open up Firefox, for instance, not necessarily a big fan of this sort of beating icon. Uh, but what I do like is the way that you can select it. So if I want another terminal, if I click on it, I get another terminal and another terminal. Uh, and I can obviously close those down by just clicking on them. But if you hover over it, you can then select whichever one's open. So if I do the same with Firefox, so I've got two versions of Firefox now. And if I click on one, you can see it comes up and I can click and switch between the two. Quite like that. Uh, so let's click off that just so we can see this again. Uh, oh. Oh, actually, you don't need to know that I've got four gig all the time. That's not so important, is it? Right, so Hot UK Deals. See how this works. Yeah, load it up reasonable. Google, oh, little flash there. You get this weird, you see, you see the background has changed. Uh, this is something that does happen in Ubuntu occasionally. You can fill it in by by kind of rubbing over it. Uh, I thought it would have been fixed. This is the uh, the 20.04 64-bit version that I downloaded from, from their site. And um, it does do it on, it's, it's not anything to do with uh, Enlightenment. This, this happens with all of them. And usually what you do is if you go full screen with something uh, or launch something else, it usually just sort of gets rid of it. So when this comes up, you can see it's, it's all filled back in now. Um, but it is something that's been happening uh, with Ubuntu and the Pi for quite some time. So let's scroll up and down that page. So it's not filled in the, um, the text. And I think I prefer the performance of Chromium um, overall, but I haven't installed it in this because I wanted to leave it stock. So. And I've, I've said this before, and other people say that they prefer Firefox for performance, but I think Chromium works be better with Ubuntu on the Pi 4. So that's, that, that seems to load up pretty quick. Yeah, the web browser is, is reasonable. Um, this is overclocked to 2 gig. If I click on this, you can see set CPU speed. Uh, this comes in here already, and I quite like the way that it, that it toggles through it. So you see it says... 600 at the moment. If I click off it, 
when you click on something it seems to change so it seems to adjust itself so well let's click on this video which it doesn't like let's try YouTube yeah, see it goes, it just flicked up to, to two. You see I've got a temperature monitor here. Uh, I've got a clock and if I click on the clock, you get this calendar. And I quite like the style of the background. Uh, it's like a traditional clock, uh, albeit digital, but an old original digital clock. Click on that, that's got a speaker, uh, Bluetooth. This I added, uh, so this is a power button. Uh, so you can see power, suspend, lock, reboot and so on. If I click on the clock again, it gets rid of that. So if you want the date quickly, I quite like that as well. There's quite a lot of things to like about this. So again, I'm only looking at this pretty much for the first time. Uh, I haven't gone through any of this. I can't see a way of getting my NAS drive on that. Was there anything, there's nothing in the pictures folder. Yeah, which is weird because Ubuntu does, but it's probably just this file manager and I'm sure there's a way of doing it. Um, Move to a line, or oh no, it's just uh, like how it looks. You can see this is a very sort of minimal sort of grey theme on it, which is how it comes. Again, see this black line? If I go across it, it gets rid of it. But that is an Ubuntu thing. That's not to do with this uh, this desktop environment. So let's close that down. Let's try this so I can go between desktops. So I can go back to Firefox. I can go back to my one with. LibreOffice on it. So what happens if I go to this desktop and I click on LibreOffice then it opens it in, oh it opens it in that desktop so if you minimize something you can open it back up in that desktop. So I'm in this desktop now Firefox, RAM usage I've got two Firefoxes now it's not as intuitive um, as ordinary Ubuntu, but the, it's a different way of doing things, and so people might really like it. So let's click on a video, and let's show this RAM usage. You don't have to be a tech YouTuber to get sweet deals on the stuff you find online. You can hear that sound works. If you don't already know, so I'll mute that. So if you've been keeping an eye on the RAM uses, I've tried to keep it up on there as much as I can. Uh, so whilst that's going, let's skip the ads. Let's skip into the video. So it's already on 1080. Now I can't see any tearing at the moment. Let's just do, because there is, Raspbian now uh, doesn't have tearing on it. Uh, if there's a little fix that you can do and I've got another video on that um, but that's a really really good find for Raspbian oh no it has got it still let's go full screen yeah it still does have it so, but this is something we know that the Pi can handle and it is only very recently and so uh, hopefully in later versions of Ubuntu that will be covered let's get that RAM usage back up because I've got two of them now am I? There we go. So let's just flick through these as well. So we've got applications, backups, disks, archive, manager, files. Oh, there's another files app there, isn't there? Is that, that's a different one, I think. Or oh, it's a very different one. This is the more ordinary Ubuntu one. Uh, and so if I wanted to find my NAS drive on here, it comes up straight away. Isn't that weird? So let's try Let's get a photo that I've taken. Yeah, let's copy this one to the desktop. Let's minimize this. Let's close it down. Oh, I've got two versions of, yes, yeah, this, this is what I do with this doc. I keep opening multiple versions of things. Uh, so if I go back to LibreOffice presentation, now I've got to pick a, a theme first and then insert a image, desktop, 
and this is I don't know it's an iPhone image so I guess it's about 8 megapixel I think it is something like that so that imported nice and quickly this keeps disappearing in fact let's move this across so we can move that around actually that compared to early versions of um, Raspbian I haven't tried this on Raspbian for a while that moves much nicer. It was much more jerky and, and sort of had to refresh the screen and things. That actually moves really, really well. Yeah, really smooth. So let's close that down. Don't need to save that. System boot, so you can see my config text file where I overclocked, which is here. Double click, what does that come up in? There you go. So I've got the 1080 fix as well, so uh, I don't run operating systems at 4K, so I run this line, uh, and then over voltage 6. Oh, I've got to look at, um, in a separate video, uh, trying to get this overclock to go higher than 2147, which apparently you can do on a beta build of, of Raspbian, so I'll have a look at that. Uh, let's just close that down. It's the same thing, and it? it opens up a temp folder, but it's very quick access to those if you use those very often. So these come on the screen. So I would normally put this inside the pictures folder. Yeah, it feels pretty snappy. Uh, as I say, it's, it's just a, it, it is a bit different to um, a lot of the other operating systems I tried, but I, I definitely do like the dock, and I really like this window switcher. Um, I, like, I just like it that it's big and it's very prominent. Um, and as I say, I made these icons a bit bigger because I just I think it looks nicer. Um, but I didn't see a way of making all these bigger, but there obviously is, and you can use themes. I did change the wallpaper. So if I right click on the shelf, you can go into settings and you can change various different things about it. That's where I changed the size style and so on and as we've got so let's open up an app that's not on the bar so say for instance i preferred the files app from ubuntu i can open that up see that comes up on the bar i can right click on that add to bar so that will stay on there now so that can be my files app that stays on there looks a bit out of place in this uh in this desktop environment because of how the other things look and the fonts and things. But you can see everything's much, much smaller than, than comes up on here. So let's open loads of things up and see if I can get, see if I can use up most of my, what have I got? Memory used, it's less than a gig, isn't it? So that's pretty good. Let's go Firefox and another Firefox. So I've got two pages now. I've got the back one here, Hot UK Deals and I've got the front one with YouTube. So let's start playing something on YouTube. See what that does. So that's playing. Let's start up Rhythm Box. Let's go for Mozilla. Let's get another version of Files up. creeping up but it's still if you had a two gig pi i guess um, maybe this is what the the request was for uh, it does seem to be coping with it what's run everything uh, games accessories double tap well that's a different thing as well isn't it games sudoku Let's go with a bit more of that. Run everything. Graphics. Shot well. Oh, it's imported my photo already. It doesn't seem to be struggling with RAM, opening things up uh, and using, as I say, in the background, we've got YouTube playing, which you can just about see underneath here. I was playing until I stopped it, playing that advert. So that is Enlightenment uh, on Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, and yeah, actually it's pretty impressive, really. I think I personally would probably change the theme. 
um, but I quite like the dock uh, and the way things are added and the performance seems to be pretty reasonable. Uh, it just needs that tearing fix on YouTube or video sites, um, but obviously everybody's going to start working on that now there's a decent fix. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.